Good morning, banana maters. I, I'm gonna play. Okay, so first, my son drew this picture, and I think it's amazing. So I want to rig on this little characters. If you've never rigged before, you want to start with something simple. So we're just gonna play around this little guy, and we're gonna rig him up real fast because he's look at him. He's so cute. Today I have a present. And for a lot of you, this might not be a super exciting present, but in the past, I've said that I will not give out my character template because if you don't know how to make a character template, you should practice making them. And if you do know how to make a template and you don't have one, you should be punished for not having one. But I changed my mind. I just want um, people to have a happy little template. So on Gumroad for free, you go there and you download this folder and it contains the character template that I use, I'll import it and show you in a second. It's not that crazy. It's a very, very simple template that I use for creating new templates. So when I go into a studio, if I'm helping to design a rig for the show, I'll start with this basic template and I'll add the things that work best for that show. That's how I do all my rigging for studios. So I have the super simple template. I will import it. It's called the character template. So here we go. This is my character template. Head with all the features. You got eyes, nose, mouth. The only really fancy thing is that the eye color is cutting the pupil already. So here you have the eye, the eye white you can set up on the color art layer and it will cut the pupil. I'll show you a little bit later. Uh, you can also, in any of my rigging videos, I use this template, so you'll be able to see more of it there. Uh, you know, it has lower body, pelvis, leg, and it's set up sort of the way that I've been rigging lately, so it's got the master pegs for the legs, but then it's got lower leg and upper leg as well. But this, I thought it would just save any, any of you who want to make your own template, save you a little time. You can start with this one and build whatever template you need. It's not going to fulfill all your needs. That's not what templates are for. <laughs> I've also included my ASDF. So it's just a drawing and a peg. It's set to separate the way that we like. It's using peg pivot points, and I've included the find and replace script, which is easy enough to Google. So you find ASDF, you should actually select it. You find ASDF, and you can change it to thing. Boom. Now it's named thing. This is main thing. This is named thing. So all that's up there. Just download it and make whatever you want. I'll just bring a little bit of cheer to these the pandemic times. So I've been playing around drawing this little character. I want to keep him super fluid so that I can do all kinds of silly goofy stuff. I've been playing around with different leg and arm types, but it ultimately boiled down to this sort of a shape. And he's got a little buddy because he's got pointy-eared guy and he's got loopy-eared guy. And I'm just going to grab him, go into my template group. And this guy doesn't need a lower body. Oh, this guy has legs. But we're going to just delete stuff out of this. So, um, he only needs little legs. And this is, this is how I use this template. I just delete out all the stuff I don't want. We can even have a share a peg, a little thing. Torso, we only need a chest. Gonna delete all the rest. Oh, we'll keep belly. I deleted chest. Arms, again, we only want one little arm, so I'm just going to delete all the stuff I don't need. And this is, because I'm so familiar with this template, it's it's actually faster than creating everything from scratch. It makes me crazy when I'm watching rigging videos. It doesn't have any hair. And people are naming everything from scratch. It makes me actually crazy. Okay, so he only has one eye. Doesn't need eyeshadow or eyebrows. These ones do have eyeshadows because I was using them for things that have stuff like that. It doesn't need cheeks. Delete. Um, this is my sloppy work folder, so please excuse all the extra palettes and stuff because it's a mess. We're just gonna rig up this guy. Okay, so I took a quick minute to clean this guy up using uh, the line tool for all the big stuff and then just filling it in. And I'm going to just take all his features and plug those in really quickly. So we'll start with his mouth, eye, pupil. And the eye color, remember, the line art goes on the line layer, the color art goes on the color layer, and now his pupil will stay inside his eye and be cut. So, oopie doopie doop stays right in there. And we'll add our pivot points. Let's grab our ears and our thing. So, left ear, 
right here. Oops. Right here. Left arm. Leg and leg. Oop. Got a torso, left arm, right arm. For this, I'm just going to do a lot of drawings. I don't want it to be rigged really, but separating things like this is going to save you time even if you're drawing everything. So we don't need a head because he's using his body. We're gonna grab all of these pegs. Oops, so I'm just control and then box selecting everything. I grab my circle tool and drag it over here. Okay, so the body one's already in place. We're just gonna move the leg ones where they belong. And we're gonna go through features peg. I don't even know if he needs a features peg. That seems excessive. I, oop, use an extra peg, delete. I'm gonna put it down here, his left ear, his mouth, his right ear. Torso's in the right place, left arm, and right arm. And that's it. He's rigged. So if you're doing a super duper simple character like this, that's it. That's all you need to do to rig the character. And now he's going to be able to do stuff that you want him to do. If you wanted to, you could add the deformers for this stuff very easily. So give them little leg deformers and give them little arm deformers. And it's as simple as that. Now I've been rigging for a long time, so this took me seven minutes. But this is the type of rig you should really start with. And if you you don't need to do deformers, I'm I'm probably gonna delete all these deformers and just draw it. I just want to play with stuff. Moop, moopy doop. So now his ears can swoop. And that's, that's pretty much your, your basic little rig there. This is gonna do all the stuff that you need for just getting started doing little uh, little starter animations. It's gonna do this. And then the next thing would be to do, to go through and do your drawing substitutions. There you go. Now, you could also use this character's body to cut the eye if you wanted, but I want his eye to be able to leave the body like this. And I want to be able to have him look up like this. So I'm going to leave that like that and the ears. I think I'm going to put the ears behind the body for now. So once you have your character all sorted, you could play along like this and see how you want to rearrange things. I want to put the ears in the back now, and then I'm going to give a drawing substitution for each ear so that each ear has this. So this ear has this option. And then the other ear has this option. And that'll help with turning the head. So now when our character is looking up, he can have both circle ears like that. And we can oop, get him all back to where he belongs, put his ear back. And now he's got his little blinks, he's got his little ear options. You could do little drawing hands, things like that. This arm is in the back. Another fun thing we could do is with our layer selectors again. So I've included the layer selectors in there. This is just how I like to use them. You can delete them if you don't want to use them that way. And I'm going to put a little overlay, boop boop, for both of these guys and put that in front of the belly. So instead of using the Z axis, moop moop, actually let's give it a little C. Actually I have a C in the thing. Boop, you can drag in your C. That's what that is. It's just a pass through composite with the letter C because it's smaller, keeps your stuff nice and compact. And I'm going to put that in front of the belly. So now, if I have this arm and I want to bring it in front like this, there's a little bit of fracturing. I've had some questions about that. See, it renders fine. 
It's just in the OpenGL mode. It's having a little bit of a hard time figuring that out, but it's not a problem. But what we can do is go into our arm. We're going to just use our cutter to copy part of the arm and paste it onto the overlay layer. So see, here's the line art layer, here's the overlay layer. And now the overlay part, we're going to have to move it even farther forward because of his eye. Boop. The overlay part is going to come in front and the underlay part will go behind. That way you can have very simple little stuff like this where he reaches up in front of his face without a lot of effort. So I recommend making this sort of egg type character. When I first started rigging, we did like a Humpty Dumpty. So you've just got a guy like this with little arms and legs. And this is going to be the perfect little character for you to practice your rigging because you can make those eyes like this one, which have your cutter involved. You can put in drawing substitutions for all the little pieces and just practice getting used to that using the tools you have, trying to figure out this line art, color art, overlay stuff. That's going to help you out. Simple cutters, simple ideas. And then you can do something like having the character with a hat. How are you going to add that to your template? So here you'd want your hat to be controlled by the head or the entire body in this case. Would you want to put it up in a master level or would you want to have it directly connected? Because if this distorts, it's going to distort the hat. So start with this super simple little egg character. Like I said, we started with this. You can add a hat, then practice taking the hat off and putting it in the hand. How are you going to do that? I have some videos to that effect in my animation playlist, and I have lots of videos in my ring tutorial to help you out with this stuff. Okay, so here's my little dude. We're gonna, I'm going to play with this guy. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him yet. I've been playing. I have a little, uh, my little doodle sheet here. I changed the color so I could see what I was doing when I was cleaning up. So I have my little doodle guys of stuff I can do. I've got a whole bunch of thumbnail drawings that I've been doing, but I told my son I would animate his little character doing some stuff. So that's where we are headed. So now that I've got him rigged, I'm not going to do a 360 rig for this guy. I don't think it's necessary um, because all I have to do is this and now he's back on. Just flip him. <laughs> now he's looking backwards. I don't think it's necessary to do a whole robust rig for this. And I don't, I'm, I'm probably even going to do, I don't know if I'm going to keep the deformers or not. We'll see. I'm going to play with it, see what feels right, add what I need, take away what I need. But for all you beginners out there, I highly recommend you make yourself a little character. Something very simple like this. And... It, it will help you figure out this reading stuff a lot better than a very complex character. Don't start with something crazy. That's the moral of most of my stories these days. Don't start crazy. Just do a little thing. It'll be great. All right. So I think that was mostly incoherent rambling. But let me know if you use my template. I would love to get tagged on Twitter. If you make anything fun, it makes me really happy to see when people make stuff. I just enjoy it. Um, and that's it. Like, share, subscribe, all those things internet people ask you to do, and I will see you in the next video, maybe with my little rabbit monster friend. Who knows?